Washington and I was excited to uh, be your guide today. You know, after they returned, after they reached the Pacific Ocean and returned, we believed in manifest destiny. It was our mission to travel west. The Oregon Trail closed in 1869 when the first transcontinental railroad was complete. 142 years ago, they thought this place was so special that they saved it for you for today. And hopefully, saved it for our guests 140 years from now as well. Here is the Continental Divide on the map. Again, it divides the watershed of our nation. One side of it, the water eventually flows to the Pacific Ocean. The other side, the water eventually flows to the Gulf of Mexico and the Atlantic Ocean. And me talking. If you just remember one thing, it's, it's this. This is what we try to live by in Yellowstone National Park. What would nature do? What would nature do?
So that's Mount St. Helens. We are not an above ground volcano. We're not a pencil volcano. We are much, much, much larger. Right side, one o'clock. Oh, there he is. We see his tushy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, all right, bison, fantastic. Um, so now it's a hot spring, it changed itself, and the water continues to come up and flow into the Firehole River. Look at that. Yeah. Look at all that water. <laughs> oh, why did I break my, why did I bring my jacket?
on the left. We're going to be driving past them on the left hand side. They're lying down a little closer to the road, not quite all the way toward the tree line. About our 11 o'clock right now. When the um, baby bison are born, they are 40 pounds, 4-0. Ouch, right? Um, <laughs> actually, not really. If you take the, the mommy bison, and she's about 1,000 pounds, one third of our park burned that year. 800,000 acres. That's as big as the size of our volcano. That's how much burned in 1988. And we're driving through it right now. Here by the trees. Looks like he's, he's, there's a bowl. Just past this clump of trees. It's at my nine o'clock now. He's <laughs> resting up. He's a model. So I'm right next to the road. Oh my goodness. That is not a good idea. Wow. There's some right here. They're right here by the road. Where the canyon starts, first rapids. Fantastic. It's still got the he's still got the soft velvet on his antlers too. Do you see that? spending the night tonight. That's just um, where you're having dinner. It's my favorite restaurant in the park, the dining room there. So, um, and um, we'll get your meal coupons for that. And uh, look around folks, this is our golf course. That white, those are sand traps. No. <laughs> Enjoy the beautiful views from the hotel and that historic hotel as well. Um, Ann and Bob will be taking you to Grant Village where you're staying tonight. Okay? Yay! Yay. <laughs> On our left. Will that water be ice cold? Will that water be um, ice cold? Not right now, but it's, it is pretty cold. Canada geese? And this is our beautiful Yellowstone Lake. These are the Absaroka Mountains across the lake.
and how calm does the lake look today? Yesterday it was a little a little choppy when we got to Lake Hotel and, and you were enjoying your dinner. Um, so this is Yellowstone Lake. This is Yellowstone Lake. This is the largest lake in uh, excuse me the la largest subalpine lake in North. It's three o'clock right now. It's getting its breakfast. We have American white. <laughs> Good morning. That's a boy. Boys have beards. Now that we're close enough, do you notice that beard? Yeah, absolutely. The older the boy, um, the longer the beard. So that surface river water that's coming from the mountains, you know, that has nothing to do with our volcano. Our volcano is so big, but all of this hot water is coming from deep, deep, deep below ground. A few more bison on our right. Up on the hillside, about our three o'clock and four o'clock. So we're back in the Hayden Valley. We're back in our golf course. <laughs> Let's see what we see this morning. All right. See, not all of those were because I was a bad driver, right? <laughs> uh, they looked at these animals and it reminded them of the water buffalo back in Asia and Africa. So they started calling them buffalo, but they're not related at all. They're bison. In fact, their um, scientific name is bison bison. <laughs> so we don't forget it. Bison are herding animals, as in they move in herds. They move in herds. So if there's bison in the middle of the road, 99% of the time, you know, they're used to kind of moving along. Uh, if you inch along, if you inch along, they will too. But if you stop, they stop. <laughs> so oftentimes the bison jams are the uh, a lot slower, you know, a lot more traffic than what what we um, hope for, because of course a lot of people want to stop and take pictures, right? It did too. Back out of the road now. How long does it take them to lose their coat? As long as it takes them to rub it off. <laughs> We just saw is the lower falls. It's 308 feet, top to bottom. 308. Um, you might have heard a few other t uh, guests saying it's it's bigger than Niagara Falls. Um, that, that's a little mis misinterpreting. It's taller. 
Niagara Falls is about 160 feet. This one's 308 feet. Yeah, it's taller. Niagara's a whole lot wider, right? Um, down, down, down. Because <laughs> Mammoth Hot Springs, where we're going to have lunch, is actually um, the lowest elevation village in the park. No, this is, there's still a lot of snow. Again, we had a really, really, really good winter, and it hasn't, you know, completely warmed up yet. It's the uh, Gallatin Mountain Range and the Beartooth Range. This turn is called May West Curve. <laughs> it really is. Named by the bus drivers of the 30 or the 20s and 30s, um, for the lady who quote had a lot of curves herself. <laughs> That's a true story. If you buy the book Yellowstone Place Names, it's the story of all of the names of the park and how we got them. You know, to the best of our knowledge, of course, uh, written by our park historian. Um, that's the reason. <laughs> we have wild strawberries, which is common in this uh, area too. So there's a couple white flowers. Those are the those are the common ones. I mean, we've got over 2,000 species of flowers here. <laughs> That's what it looks like to me. It's by a fallen tree. It's not very big, is it? Now it's walking. Fantastic. People coming toward us are kind of inching along, <laughs> and they're inching along. But for the car that stopped, the bicycle stopped right in front of it. Find it. Oh my gosh, so many babies. Wow. Oh, look at this sweet little newborns, these orange ones. The ones that were born last year, they're the ones whose horns just kind of stick straight out like like devil ears. <laughs> devil horns. Those were the uh, ones of last year. Oh, oh. oh you scared him. Oh. The first air Look at this. We're crossing the Gardner River. Don't look down if you're afraid of heights. <laughs> now you have your lunch coupons, right? Yes. Yes. Good. Yes. So lunch is at the Mammoth uh, dining room. We're going to be dropping off um, as close as we can to the area. We're going to be dropping folks off at the hotel. The green roofed building at about our one o'clock. That's our jail, so don't you go there. There's, There's an elk, elk behind it. Behind <laughs> the There's an elk behind the jail. It really is still used as a jail. I want to tell you um, why 
Again, this is limestone that builds up in this area and it gets bigger and bigger every year. Calcium carbonate is another, another word for limestone. Um, when it forms a pillar like that, the only way it can form a pillar like that, not these nice, happy, rolling mountains, is if it was underwater. So at one point, we believe this is an ancient lake bed as well. And that's how Liberty Cap formed. So it is old. It is old. It is older than a lot of these uh, rolling terraces here. Can you see there's miles and miles of boardwalk? <laughs> miles and miles and miles. It's mammoth. It's mammoth. We're going to continue up. Um, and for those of you that would like to, um, when, when we reach the top of the hill, there'll be a little pullout if you'd like to join me for just a two minute stroll, just a little photo opportunity. Water was rolling over in the 50s, and because it was so hot and active, you know, that rolling. So it wasn't active for many, many, many years, but now it's got a little bit of water running over it. You know, in some spots, we see that white right. and then the orange as well, where it's not as hot. Now, what if you were. To Will that eventually look like this and just peel off? Yeah, and it'll road over time. It Things looks like will. ice. Why did you miss the terrace thing where the road passed? Is uh -huh. that the same as this? It's just a different shape? And is it water coming down? Mm -hmm. Water coming down, coming down okay. and Same idea, but yeah. it's a different uh, What was the big round one? Yeah, that's the running. The waterfall up ahead that we're driving by, that's Rustic Falls. If anybody had any ice water during lunch, that's what you drink. You drink fresh mountain water. Now, of course, it's cleaned and filtered. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But that's the water that you drink, Rustic Falls, for the Mammoth Hot Springs area. <laughs> Winter coat. Later on, it'll help scratch, um, you know, itches and bugs. And then when it's really hot in the summer, the dirt is lighter in color than their dirt. I can't Oh, it's huge. Like the one we just saw, being on their own, getting their man time, maybe one other man before. Um, I saw at least 12 of the babies. One's a real little one. No, he decided to over in your left. He thought about crossing in front of Bob, but he thought better of it.
We'll stop at their uh, visitor center because Matt of the Sloan said they only have one Cedars. So they're whining up here now because yours on the, on the driver's side is closer than theirs on the door side. Right on the edge and it'll look right on the top of the ridge. Antelope over there on the right. Look at them running. They are frolicking. It's the wolf pack chasing them. Uh -oh. They're wolf pack chasing you know. them. They're, they're just having a, they're they're just just running around in circles like we do. <laughs> 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 Alright, let's see what they're doing. Oh, This is still the Lamar River. This is Silvergate, Montana. This was the other town that had to be evacuated when they set that backfire in it. As they say, it backfired on them and almost burned out Silvergate and Cook City. We're at 9,800 feet there. Another lake over here frozen over to your left. Not completely frozen, but to show that in the middle of June you were mean even snow. Climbed up the mountain. We're still not 11,000 yet. Gee. There's another one right over the line. Yeah.
Downtown. This is their historic district of Red Lodge. <coughs> Care Love Town. I said population 2,125. And they, every one of them has a store here. <laughs> don't, don't be intimidated here. on a sugar high yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 and caffeine sugar and caffeine 